Hey everybody, it's Master Mike here. Let's get my Arrow Season 4 Episode 19 review rundown. Oh my gosh. This episode... Really, Arrow? Really? Oh my gosh, this episode was not good. I mean, there were good things about this episode, but the majority of this was bad. I mean, there was some bad stuff in this episode. My review is gonna get real. Are you guys ready? So let's get started. So this episode, not because, there was a lot of things I hated about this episode. Not because of the episode itself, but because of things that have been circulating around the episode. I mean, there are a few things in the episode that I just generally hated, but there is one big thing that I hated about this. That's not the episode's fault exactly, but things that are circulating around it. But we're gonna get started with this new character that they've introduced, Evelyn Sharp. Now in the comics, she's actually Evan or Evelyn or Ev not Evan, <laughs> Evelyn uh, Crawford. She is actually a character in the comics that is in the um, Birds of Prey comics. She became the character Starling. Uh, she was, you know, in that comic book, uh, which is kind of an Easter egg because of Starling City, you know. But it's not really a general Easter egg. It's kind of like a put two and two together. You know, oh, that's a coincidence. So that's really that. But it was really nice to see that they put this character in here because they're really good about putting characters in, but they do change them quite a bit. Like Griffin Gray, we just talked about him yesterday, about how they changed him uh, quite a mu quite much too, uh, with changing his powers. Instead of uh, green energy, it was super strength. But they've totally changed this. It was nice to bring her in, but they totally changed it, and that was not nice about the character. And it made her a fake Black Canary. So this episode, they dealt with a lot of what you know, happened, you know, with uh, Laurel being killed off, which is really weird, um, and I didn't like it, I hated it, I hate that they killed her off, but when they say Laurel's not the Black Canary anymore, Laurel's not here, Laurel's not coming back, especially in the end of the episode where you see the funeral with Dinah, her mom, coming back, and them saying, hey, Laurel's never coming back, like, with Quentin, in this episode, he, you know, was in denial of Laurel being dead, uh, he tried to find a way around it, you know, but with the last pit and Nyssa, and Nyssa being like, oh, I destroyed it months ago, you know, him trying to find a way, and Oliver having that amazing moment like that one, Quentin in this episode is one of the best things about this episode, along with Diggle, Theo was really great, Oliver was amazing in this episode as well, uh, the flashbacks were really good, I'd say some of the things I didn't like were Felicity, did not like Felicity in this episode, but who really does like Felicity anymore, which we're gonna talk about, um, and then also, there's a certain spoiler that I did not like, there's Ruve Adams I did not like particularly, um, and then there's another storyline that they're doing this season that I really don't like either, but we're gonna get to all that, but anyway, back to what I was saying about Quentin, with him being in denial, um, and him sharing that moment with Oliver, really what they're doing is that they're shoving the idea that Laurel is never coming back, they gave you a little bit of a, a little bit of a close off, they tied her story off with the flashbacks and stuff, but really when Flash, Arrow, or any of the other DC TV shows would just throw something at you in the episode, like in your face, like this episode, all they could talk about is that Laurel's not coming back, Laurel's not coming back, Laurel's not coming back. When they do that, it's basically trying to convince you, it's basically telling you, this is true. Like, even though we do these DC plot twists with these characters, this is real. Like, this is actually happening. She's not coming back. That's what they were trying to tell you in the, through this episode. And I feel like this episode, the writers really took, in, took it into account of what the characters how the characters will get over Laurel, but also how the audience will too. But they did a huge mistake while doing it. So in this episode, when Evelyn steals the sonic device, she tampers with it. We learn that she's a gymnast, which, no. We learn also that she's, I guess, sciencey when she had to change the modifier. But anyway, in this episode, we deal with her, you know, kind of this backstory. And I was totally confused. Like, when she attacked Alex, and she was like, oh, you worked for them, and then she was like, you failed the city, Oliver, with, you know, this uh, event that happened, or whatever she said about the uh, chamber uh, that Damien Dark had, the hive chamber, it was like, I'm so confused. Who is this person? Like, what is this? What's happening? Like, I was confused. Now, obviously, Arrow was going to explain it. I knew that they were going to, but I was like, wait a minute, what? Like, who is this person? And then, like, when she jumped onto the car... Um, and took get down those guys. I thought that was a flashback because it just happened so fast. Like it was like, wait, oh, here's a flashback of Laurel. Nope, it's actually some crazy person. And I'm just so confused about this episode. Like it was so back and forth of me liking it, but also me hating it. And I just, it was weird to me. I think that they should have gone to a different route because they did this whole like Black Canary legacy thing. Uh, Oliver gave the, the secret out. It's out, guys. We everyone knows. Everyone in the world knows that Laurel and other worlds, DCTs. Uh, everyone knows that Laurel is the Black Canary, and every, that she knows that they know that she was doing, you know, wore the mask, fought crime, why she died, and because with 
uh, Evelyn doing all this craziness, craziness mur trying to murder uh, Ruve and all this, it kind of ruined her legacy a little bit. As Thea was saying in the end of the episode, Oliver made sure everyone knew that Laurel was the Black Canary, her legacy lives on, which is good, but in this episode, they did that, that whole Evelyn thing for a reason. And I heard on Twitter, heard on Instagram, heard on YouTube, that the reason why is because they want to make Evelyn the next Black Canary. No! Do not make Evelyn the next Black Canary! What? No! It's like, you've had two Black Canaries, a White Canary, you're gonna have a third Black Canary, stop. Just stop. Now, originally I thought that they were gonna make Felicity Black Canary and train her, because she's with Oliver, not currently, but you know, they've had an off and on thing, and the Black Canary and Green Arrow are married in the comics, so it's like, okay, maybe they will. I hope they don't, because Felicity really... We're going to talk about Felicity in a second, but really, Felicity? No. So when I heard that this character was going to become Black Canary, I was even more like, I was like, what? You don't just take a character that has one bad day and turns into this murderer and change her into this superhero. It doesn't make any sense. It's like, sure, if I had that moment with her watching the funeral being like, okay, I get this now about this legacy, but you can't just change her just because of that one moment. You can't just change her into the Black Canary. It's not possible. I hope they don't do this because it makes no sense. And it's not logical either. It's like, it doesn't make sense. I know, like, if they wanted to have a Black Canary, they just, they should have just stuck to Black Canary with Laurel. If they want to have a Black Canary on Arrow, then why did you kill her off in the first place? Like, they just see, it just doesn't make sense. I don't know if they're trying to build story, but they're basically fridging Laurel. Now, if you guys are comic book fans, hardcore comic book fans, you know what the term fridging means, but if you don't, I'm going to explain it to you. So back in the day when they had the Kyle Rayner, or Ky Kyle Rayner, right? Yeah, I can never pronounce his name, but Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern, I think he was also a White Lantern at one point, but when he was Green Lantern, they had this storyline where I think his girlfriend was murdered or she died somehow or whatever, and they, like, someone stuffed her in a fridge, but that's, that's frigid. Killing a character, usually female by the way, killing a female character or any character and fridging them to develop another character's story. And it's generally, you know, it's it's mostly the male character. So that's what the fridging is. That's definitely what this is. They're fridging Oliver, or sorry, they're fridging Laurel. Now I don't feel like they're fridging Laurel for Oliver. That's not what's going on here. I feel like they're fridging Laurel not only for Diggle, I feel like they did it for Diggle, but for Evelyn, and it's so weird how they would just kill off a genuine, amazing character with this genuinely amazing actress, right? To service this person we've never met before to turn her into a superhero? It makes no sense. It makes literally no sense whatsoever why they would do that. I don't know why they would if they are going down that road. Now, I'm not saying it's true, but I've heard it on all of social medias. I've heard it everywhere that they're wanting to do that, that the writers are wanting to do that, the producers, like everyone wants to make her this next Black Canary. If they do, I could be done watching the show. I feel like they're just doing so many mistakes, but we're going to talk about that at the end of this video. So let's talk about Diggle, because Diggle was also one of the best things about this episode, because it was limited. Um, no, Diggle did really well in this episode. He went off the rails for a little bit in this episode, went really dark. You know, he's kind of dealing with this thing like, oh, you know what, it's my fault that Laurel's dead. Felicity tried, you know, to... She's like, oh, no, it's my fault. And I feel like Felicity's really useless right now. Like, she's not helping anything. Like, Diggle makes sense why he would do this, because, you know, they're developing Diggle, and I feel like they, he has stuff to develop. I don't think Felicity is needed anymore on the show, really. But, you know, but with Diggle, he went off the rails, hit, like, Ruve, tracked her down, beat her a little bit. You know, it's like, hey, I'm going to send a message to your husband. Ch -ch -ch Bam! But it didn't happen because Oliver saved Ruve. You know, and, and that whole scene, that's probably the best Oliver Diggle moment I've seen in Stephen Amell and David Ramsey. Props to you guys, because you did a fantabulous job on that scene. Like, it was like, what the heck do you think you're doing? Who are, who do you think you are? Like, don't lose yourself. And Laura would say the same thing. That was an amazing scene, and I really did like it. Um, and it. And it really showed how much Diggle is really dealing with this. And I feel like it was really raw, and I feel like it was really powerful. So that was a really great part of the episode. That's probably the best moment of the episode, by far. Uh, it was really well done. So I feel like Diggle is going to have to come to terms with Laurel being gone. I feel like he did it a little bit in this episode, but I feel like it'll keep going throughout the season, maybe even carry over to season five since we're so far into the season right now. We only have like three episodes left, so it's possible, who really knows, but that happened. So, and then let's see, let's talk about the bad stuff now. Overall, 
This episode's got some problems. <laughs> Faye did the really great funeral. The funeral parts were really great. The back, uh, the flashbacks were really great too with Katie Cassidy uh, talking about Tommy. Those flashbacks were really were really good. But talking about this part with the at the end of the episode with the funeral, no, no. So Flash comes in, Barry comes in, right? And just we saw that from episode one. And in episode one, we didn't know Barry was gonna lose his powers, right? Well, then Barry comes in and zooms off. He's just like, okay, see you later, Oliver. Lightning. Star Central City. I'm going back to you. I am fighting Zoom. I'm going back to you, Central City. And it's like, what? No. You can't do that. You just spoiled the, the Flash. And you just did that. Now, the reason why they said that this happened is because of scheduling issues. They didn't write what was going on with the Flash, like, they, they, like, Arrow season one episode, or season four, sorry, episode one dealt with Barry in the episode that, like, he cameoed, but they didn't write what was going to happen to Barry until later. So that's why it's kind of, like, crazy, and then the filming schedules and all that craziness, that's why. But I feel like if you're in a connected universe, and Arrow started that connected universe, you don't want to mess up at all. This is a big mess up, like, what the heck? And I'm confused, does Barry, like, is this set after the Flash finale? It, or the next episode of Flash, or whenever he gets his powers, or is it set before and he has them? I don't know. Who knows where this is set now because they've messed up at that part. Next thing I want to talk about is the Anti-Vigilante Task Force. This is so repetitive. So Arrow had the thing back in Season 3 where they did the Anti-Vigilante uh, uh, Task Force, where Quentin gets all of these police officers, goes after the Vigilantes, Doing it again. Yep, they're doing it in season four. Although, it's not that big of a deal because season four is almost over. It only has like three episodes. So, it's like really the anti vigilante task force at this part late in the game. And like just doing that, it doesn't make any sense. And then the same thing goes for Rube Adams. She was not a very good character this episode. Like, it was actually kind of frustrating to me watching her on screen lead this task force. It was like, yep, yeah, I'm done. And then when Oliver, like, even Oliver said it, he's like, I've seen this movie before. I ain't, I ain't sticking around. Gotcha, goink, arrow, zoom. Like, he even didn't stay around. So it's like, really? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Why? Like, why, Arrow? So at this point, you know, they they messed up on Black Canary. They messed up on The Flash. Spoiler. They messed up with Rube Adams. They messed up with Felicity. They messed up with the anti vigilance Task Force. Why, Arrow? Why? So, what do you guys think? At this point, Arrow, the whole purpose of Arrow was obviously just to make a TV show. It's like, oh, okay, let's just make a, a DC TV show about Green Arrow. So they did it. But then they started wanting to do this connected universe, right? The Flash, the only reason why the TV show exists is because of Arrow. The only reason why Legends exists is because of Arrow. The only reason why Constantine came back and the fans got to see him again was because of Arrow. They are the reason this universe exists. So, at this point, when all of these shows are already here, is it necessary for Arrow to stay? You know, really? If they're gonna, like, fall in quality, does it make sense for them to stay on the air? Like, does it make sense for them to serve, to keep doing this storyline? Should they tie up the story? for good if they're gonna keep trying to drag it on. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I just feel like that's something that is true. Like, does it deserve to stay? Uh, links up there to my other videos. Uh, links it down there to my Twitter, Instagram, Vine, vlog channel, and Sims channel. Again, don't forget to comment what you guys thought of this episode. Um, next week, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. Uh, I don't remember the teaser. I think next week they're gonna, like, Damien Dark's gonna be back. So, you know, it is what it is. But uh, don't forget, like and favorite this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.